Good morning. This feels weird. I'm filming. I haven't done this in a while. Apologies. But it is such a beautiful day. Oh, look at that sunshine. It's about 6.30 in the morning and the sun is still like already <laughs> this bright. And I just feel like summer has arrived. What a perfect day to film. I've got a really nice day planned to really make the most of this because I think this is like the last day of sun for a few days. We've got like rain in London um, coming, which I'm not, not thinking about, but I'm consciously trying to make the most of the sun today. <laughs> And I'm up bright and early to go to Bodyism. I'm going to do their signature class, get my body moving before the day begins. And I'm going to go home and I'm really excited. I'm going to make an acai bowl. You guys know how much I am obsessed with smoothie bowls in the summer. This year is no different. I am making one every single morning and it just makes me really happy. <laughs> so I'm going to go home and make one, show you guys how I make um, my current fave. Actually, no, I'm actually going to make it a bit different today because I've got some cherries in the fridge. And I'm thinking of making like a chocolate one. Anyway, this is how my brain works when I'm thinking about food. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Bodyism for my class. What a beautiful morning. We've been so lucky with the weather these past few days. Right, Bodyism is just at the end down there. Here we are. I haven't actually had a class here in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> my frozen banana here. Some people really don't understand the frozen banana thing, my stepdad being one. I told him to freeze any bananas that are going like brown and spotty and then the whole banana with the skin ended up in the freezer. I'd recommend taking the skin off just for ease and breaking it up and just keeping it in like a uh, Tupperware. And then they're just so good to throw into smoothies and they make smoothies so, so creamy. So I'm going to like estimate about one banana. And then for the acai, I'm using these frozen little pouches. I used to always use acai powder. This is so much better, so if you can get your hands on this. This is by Boa Vida, pure acai. And I just kind of rinse it to warm it up a little bit. And then, let's grab a knife. Apologies about the white t-shirt, wet hair situation. Didn't really think that one through. Break it in half, and then it should come out. There we go. And then I'm going to add some almond milk. There we go. I've realised you actually need more than you think, just to like get it all blending, you know. I'm going to add some cacao powder. I'm going to make this one really nice and chocolatey. I need a new spoon. Yeah, like a nice chocolate smoothie bowl. About a tablespoon. With some cherries on top. Look at these cherries. Mm. I got them yesterday. They were full up to here, but I went to the park with a few friends yesterday and we ate most of them. But still have some for my smoothie bowl, which I'm very happy about. Oh, I'm using the Hamosa Vegan Protein Powder. Uh, this is in the flavoured chocolate. Yeah, it's a new one. So this is the protein that you get at Barry's. Um, so if any of you guys are obsessed with the Barry smoothies, you're going to love this protein. Two scoops of that. Get that protein. It did work out this morning. That should be enough liquid. Just blend it all up and then we're gonna add some peanut butter and some cherries on the top. <laughs> Just like literally comes out all in one. Perfect. So that's the smoothie bowl. I forgot, I am also going to add some granola. I bought this the other day, I think in Waitrose, it's called Bio and Me, and I got their gut-loving granola. Had no idea that I knew who created this. It's by the gut health doctor, Megan. And I literally, when I opened it, I saw her face on it, and I was like, I know her. <laughs> so, complete coincidence. Did not know about this granola, and it is so good. I've literally had, like, most of it. 
um, but it's very low in sugar. So I'm going to add some of that, which is good because I feel like granolas are often just like pumped full of sugars and sweeteners and yeah, you think it's a healthy option, but quite often if you get like a brand that is lying to you, you're consuming far more sugar than you think. So I'm going to add some of the Pippin Nut peanut butter. I've got a meeting in Hammersmith. Oh, it's in less than an hour. I'm all good. I get real anxiety about being late. I've always had it since I was a kid. I'd be really worried that I would be late for school and stuff and I still have that feeling now. Right, some cherries. I'm gonna take the pips out. This takes longer than it should. I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut on the top. This is mainly just to make it look nice. There we go, smoothie bowl. I love this flat in the morning, in the summer. That light, so beautiful. Right, here we go. Ready for its close up. We've got the chocolate smoothie bowl with granola, peanut butter and cherries. It is hot, guys. I think today is the hottest day of the year so far. Whew, not complaining though. I will never complain when the sun is shining, even if it's unbearable. <laughs> I'm such a summer girl. I absolutely love it. I love this weather. It is very hot in my flat though. I don't have a fan or any air conditioning at all. So I feel like I'm going to walk to Hyde Park and do some work from there and just like be outside, find a nice spot under the trees or something. Um, but I want to show you some new bits from Organic Basics. I've filmed quite a lot about Organic Basics in the past and I'm so happy to partner with a brand that completely aligns with my own ethos in terms of sustainability and they're such an ethical brand and the clothing is absolutely beautiful. They do really lovely basics so you know like the, all of the vest tops i'm actually wearing one right now so these kind of things and um, the underwear which i'm also wearing i've filmed all of this before but the materials that they use and even the production and where they source the materials from all of that it's so conscious and mindful to be as environmentally friendly as they can possibly be and I just have a lot of respect for brands like this because it's tough, it's really really hard to do especially for a smaller brand so yeah I'm a massive advocate for the work that they do and the reason I'm filming it today is because they have just released their first ever swim collection and I feel like today is the perfect day to talk about it because it's so beautiful and sunny and I have been waiting for a swimwear collection from Organic Basics for a very long time so when I first heard that they had created this collection I was so so excited it's really really lovely I'm gonna show you I've got it all behind me it looks really messy but I have tried to lay it out all nicely so I'm gonna show you the collection this is a gorgeous bikini. It comes in lots of other colours, but I really, really love this. I feel like it's flattering for so many different skin tones, especially when you have a nice little summer glow. So I'm really excited to wear this. I'm going to wear this today, actually, underneath my top. And the swimwear is made from recycled materials. There are the bottoms there. And then this is the swimsuit. I got this one in black because I actually feel like I could wear this as a top with some denim shorts or even a nice little skirt and I really like the back it's got a low scoop back there nice little straps tie a bow at the back I think that's so so beautiful so yeah I feel like I can definitely wear that as a top as well and this again does come in other colors and I also got this really lovely shirt because I'm just going to wear this open, I could even just wear the bikini underneath, right? And then tie it in a knot with some denim shorts or just have it loose and open with some jeans. I just think it's a really nice lightweight summer shirt and I really love the pockets here. Kind of reminds me of like pyjama pockets, I love that. 
And then I also have these lovely trousers over here, really, really lightweight. Let's see what material these are made from. Ah, so this material is Tencel. That's why they feel so soft. I love the Tencel. It's a very sustainable material and yeah, they're great. I'm not gonna wear them actually today because it is so, so hot. I feel like these are amazing. Actually, that would look nice with the um, swimsuit. These are gonna be really cool and loose, but honestly guys, it's unbearably hot today that I literally want as little material on my body as possible. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear the bikini. I'm gonna wear the shirt out to get to Hyde Park and then some denim shorts. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the past year and a half or couple of years where we have been stuck at home and we haven't been able to travel, it's definitely been an opportunity to appreciate the nature and our surroundings more than ever. And, you know, I've always been very mindful around, you know, being kind to the planet, but I think especially the past couple of years, or yeah, 18 months I suppose, I have a newfound respect for our planet. And I think it really is just because we've been stuck in our own surroundings that you've, it has been an opportunity to grow to love it again, fall in love with your area again. And I think with that comes this new um, mindfulness around our lifestyle, and that includes what we're buying and what we're purchasing um, and what we're drawn to. So for me personally, I've definitely been more drawn to brands like this, where they are making such a conscious effort to to be kinder to the planet and i mean the clothing is absolutely beautiful as well it's not like you need to sacrifice style or any of that i think this just proves that there are beautiful brands out there that are sustainable and they're just really lovely as well so it's almost like a bonus that they're sustainable and ethical right like i i would buy this anyway because it's so so lovely and the quality is amazing so yeah, it's almost like a time to reflect, right, on our lives and what our impact is, what our carbon footprint is, and yeah, I think there's, there's so much that comes within that, whether it's the food that you're eating, um, your general day-to-day -day lifestyle choices, and yeah, that includes shopping. Right, I am going to get ready to go to Hyde Park, I'm going to take a notepad. I'm going to work on my phone remotely because I don't really want to lug around my laptop. I've got this really massive laptop. It's so heavy. I don't really want to take that to Hyde Park. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to see what I can do remotely and just lie in the sun and lap it all up and just absolutely love it in my bikini. It's really weird filming again. I think because I haven't done it in so long, I'm out of practice. It, it doesn't feel as natural as it normally does. Oh, and also I nearly forgot the best part about all of this. Organic Basics are offering you 10% off. So I'll put the code up here and then it will also be in the description box. And I'm going to link all of these lovely pieces down there as well for you. Found a beautiful spot under the tree in Hyde Park and got a pretty good setup here. I've got one of my favourite books, this is Young Pueblo Inward and it's the kind of book that you can just read over and over, like some of the pages there's literally just like a couple of lines. So I tend to bring this everywhere with me. And then my notepad, I've got my shirt in case I need to cover up. I just picked up some raspberries and they are so sweet, they're amazing. Um, also a salad, some kombucha, a pear and my water bottle.
nice to just get some work done there. I must say, I wasn't as productive, obviously. Like, I feel like in direct sunlight, it's so hard to work and get stuff done because it's just hard to see your phone. But I had a few calls, um, blah, blah, blah. Just caught up on stuff. So, no, it was so nice. And I feel like I caught the sun quite a lot. So, I'm going out for dinner this evening and I'm going to really quickly do my makeup. And... I left my makeup bag in Cornwall. I've been away with family for a few days and I left my makeup bag in the hotel and I'm gutted. I hopefully will be getting it back next week so it's not the end of the world. But luckily I do have backup makeup but this is stuff that I haven't used in a while or new stuff that I haven't opened. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I thought it might be interesting to film it because it's not gonna be the usual stuff that you're used to me see using. Um, so, just going to moisturise first using my Smart Skin. This is the Super C moisturiser. Just a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. And just apply that. I've already put some sun cream on. It's already like six. <laughs> but I know that I'm having a drink outside and, you know, need to protect our skin, guys. Something that I've become really strict with the past, like, couple of years is just making sure that I'm always applying SPF, even in the evenings in the summer. Just a little bit of foundation. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in neutral shade six. So I'm just gonna add like literally the tiniest bit onto my hand. And then, should I use this brush? Bare Minerals. God, this might be a bit pale for me now. I need to get some new foundation. So because I've just applied the moisturiser and I'm adding just a little bit of foundation, it will almost just be like a tinted moisturiser. Now for concealer, this is 100% too pale for me, but it's the only one I've got. And this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin in light. Oh no, I'm gonna get those white eyes, but what you gonna do? It's not too bad actually. That's all right, isn't it? I'm gonna use that to blend it all in. Now for the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Now, I do have about three of these because I use them so much. So this is nothing unusual. Oh, I might have to take this with me. It's such a warm evening. Sorry I haven't been posting much recently. I, it hasn't been a planned thing. I just have been so focused on smart skin and there's no explanation, I don't know why. You know, sometimes you just need to listen to whatever's happening and I just haven't felt motivated to to film and post. I think it's, you know, a lot to do with the past year that we've all had and <laughs> I've had. Um, it just hasn't felt very authentic to just be like, la la la, here I am filming my life and everything's great. Um, so I didn't want to do that and I also didn't want to be all doom and gloom and like oh my god this is what's going on in my life boring boring like you know no one wants to see that so yeah I guess it just hasn't been the right time to film but you know I'm not I'm not ending my YouTube at all I still love the platform and I mean I'm back I'm here and I will be back I don't know when. <laughs> I said that last time and then it was like two months later. Um, no, I feel like, you know, I love my, I love summer. So um, I'm happy. I'm feeling great. I love it. So yeah, I definitely want to start filming more. I just used the Anika Baked Mineral Bronzer and I'm now going to use the Shantikai Laughter Cheek Shade in Coral. Such a beautiful product. And you really don't need a lot. I feel like that's quite um, overexposed, the camera, so you probably can't see <laughs> anything I'm doing. Now, I'm already looking a bit shiny over here. Ah, that's all right. It's all right. I've got my Cora Organics. Mm, it's a bit too dewy. I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Highlighter in Free. I also have a stash of these because they are my favourite highlighter. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. I love this highlighter. 
little bit on the brow bone, on the inner eye, makes you look a little bit more awake. <laughs> Cupid's bow, whatever's left on the finger on the nose. Right, for eyeshadow, I can't really be bothered with eyeshadow to be honest, but I'm going to do something. Hmm. Oh, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Instant Eye Palette, Stars in Your Eyes Palette, not Instant Eye Palette, that's my other one. I just want to keep this really, really natural, I really don't want much on the eyes. Like summer evenings for me, going out for dinner, going out for drinks, it's nice to just keep it really minimal, really fresh. We've got that natural summer glow. I just personally, I don't feel like we need to go overboard with makeup, you know, just keep it, keep it natural. Because it's not all year round we get that glow, so let's make the most of it. I'm looking a bit pink. I wore factor 50. I don't know if that's just the camera. Oh, now I'm using the Bare Minerals One Fine Line in the brown colour. And I'm just going to line my upper lashes and then I'll smudge it out a little bit. And now the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Mascara. Oh, I'm so happy I have a spare one of these. This is a brand new one. Obsessed. The best mascara. I've been using it now since it first came out and God, was that like a year ago? No other mascara compares in my opinion. I love it. So this is the one that has a, it's a serum infused formula. So it actually helps lengthen and strengthen your lashes naturally. Uh, and there's the brow gel. Yeah, I've got the brow gel, yes. Brow gel does the same. It's so good. I'm just gutted I don't have my Laura Mercier eyelash colours. I swear by them. Whew, it's hot. I feel like I'm getting all clammy. Okay, nearly there. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift Brow Pencil. This is the first time I'm using this one. I normally use her like micro brow pencil, which is amazing and I miss it. But let's give this a go. I like this to apply, but the shade is wrong. It's slightly too warm. I prefer more of an ashy brown for my brows. And last but not least, lipstick, Charlotte Tilbury. I've got loads of Charlotte Tilbury in my backup set. Um, this is Sexy Lips. And I like it because it's so glossy. Done. Easy peasy, quick summer evening, dewy makeup look. I'm going to quickly throw on some clothes, other clothes, <laughs> and then I'm going to run out the door. So I'm going to wrap up this video now. God, I need to sort out this hair as well. Look at that. Wow. Lion's mane. And uh, yeah. That is it. Thank you so much for still being here and watching my videos, even though I am very unreliable on here and not very consistent. Um, but I am really wanting to get back into it, I promise. So as I said earlier, you can get 10% off with Organic Basics. That is all in the description box down below. So please do check that out if you're interested in the brand or even if you just want to find out a little bit more about it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.